if you say he doesn't need it, he wants it. He wants it a lot. He wants it very much, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> like, what, what are you saying? You can say you need it, but just it's like Kabbalah Atmos. Yeah. It's like Kabbalah Atmos. He made himself need. So, so one second. So one second. When we say it's a Hagbola Atzmis and he made himself need, does that mean he doesn't really need, or that means that's a real need? It makes it weaker or stronger. The fact that it's voluntary makes it weaker or stronger. Once he wants it, he wants it. That's it. Stronger, but not dependent. The need that he self inflicted. Questions: Could he unwant himself? That's right. Can he unwant? Of course he could. Doesn't want anymore. When you say he made himself need, it doesn't mean to imply that the need is artificial and superficial. Faked it. There is no external need. It is purely internal. That makes it more or less. That makes it much stronger need. What do you mean stronger need? It makes it more necessary. Not less necessary. A person has to eat because something doesn't let him function if he doesn't eat. It's not internal. But if it's voluntary, it means it's internal. Yeah. So what motivated you? Something superficial? A taiva means the strongest, deepest impulse. Not a frivolous. Something, ah, stama taiva. Stama taiva? Not, not by the Hebrew we use the word nesave because we can't think of a stronger term that isn't imposed by, a, a, by an outside force. Here's another way of thinking about it. The Rambam says that the Ebeshter is amitas himotze. Amitas hamatzias. Chakira says that the Ebeshter is muchuyiv hamatzias. Hasidus says that the Ebeshter is Mitsiyusei Meatsmusei. Huh? Mitsiyusei Meatsmusei doesn't mean that he exists by himself, from himself, without help. Mitsuyusei Meatsmusei doesn't mean nobody had to create him. That, every child understands that. He's an Abishta, nobody created him. Mitsuyusei Meatsmusei means there is his Mitsuyus and there is his Etzem. The Abishta's Mitsuyus comes from his Etzem. What is his etzem? The taiva. Because of his taiva, that's why he becomes a metzius, and that's why he becomes a mitas hametzius, and that's why he becomes mechuyiv hametzius, because his atzmus demands it. Does that make any sense? Hmm? It's not just Look, he's very real, so he exists. Nobody has to create him. He just is. He always was. He'll always be. No. The Abishta's existence comes from something deep inside of him. What is that? The Taiva. When did the Abishta become a Matthias? The Ebeshter is Amitas Hametzias. What does that mean? It means that if he didn't exist, nothing else. If he wasn't a Metzias, then no Metzias could exist. So why is he necessary? <laughs> he's, 
he is necessary to start this whole process of Metzius because he is the first Metzius. And from him, all other Metzius can come. If he wasn't a Metzius, no Metzius would exist. What does it mean if he wasn't a Metzius? If he was just himself, not a Metzius, then nothing would exist. So why does he become a Metzius? So that other things can exist. Why does he need other things to exist? Taiva. So where does his existence come from? Why does he choose to exist? Because of a Taiva. So before he existed, he had a Taiva. So you have an obvious question. Before he existed, who had the taiva? The answer is, less machshava tvisa bay. Now you understand why? Why is less machshava tvisa bay? Because he wants before he exists. Okay, I, I'm, I'm out of it. <laughs> Forget it. What does it mean before he exists? Before he has an existence, he has a taiva. But who is this who has the taiva? Uh, we call him Abishter. Get the picture? Atmos. God. Is that Atmos or Isaac? Yes. Come later? No. Atmos. That is his Atmos. So when you say God, what are you talking about? You're talking about a taiva that exists. <coughs> Can't say the word exists. Say. He who had a taiva before he existed, that's God. Now I want to tell you something. There, there cannot be an apicatus. Once you explain this, there are no atheists. You can argue with an atheist about the Ebishter's existence. He exists, he doesn't exist. <coughs> you have, yeah. I have proof that he exists, because how else would anything else exist? He has to create everything, because... Fine, so how does he exist? So the, the atheist will give you an argument. God exists, God doesn't exist. That's not, that's not even an issue. God doesn't exist. He has a taiva. And to fulfill that taiva, he'll exist, if that's what it takes. So who has the taiva? God. What is that? You can only say, what is that about an existence? He doesn't exist yet. So you can't ask that question. So when we say, Ebishter, was is the Ebishter? Less machshavot visabe. Why less machshavot visabe? Because machshava can only handle what is, and he isn't. And he created existence, which is perfect, including his own existence. He created his own existence, which is per which is the perfect part of him, and in order to have that life. In other words, his existence is for a reason, with a tachlis. And that's why we get that same hang-up. What, am I just here? Even teenagers. I didn't ask to be born. So either give me a teich in a life or I'm going to cut myself. So even when you say God exists, it's not even talking about axioms yet. That's right. You know, that's what we know about Atmos. <laughs> but the first thing we know about Ebishter is that he has a time. And because of that, he exists, we exist, the whole world exists. 